Uh, first, we had George Eustace telling us to buy cheaper things. Mm. Has he been outdone in terms of wisdom? Oh, yeah. Rachel uh, McLean, uh, Home Office Minister, uh, God. has said that people should get a better job. And I am very happy to report that I am moving on to HBO. <laughs> so thank you for that advice. <laughs> Good job. She said it. Otherwise yeah, been yeah. Uh, so few. Uh, no, that's what she says. Like take your take on more hours, use your local job centre. But this is the most telling part of it. And we're talking about someone here who claimed two hundred and thirteen thousand pounds in expenses last year. But this is what she says. This is the real part of the quote that really just shows how misaligned she is with reality and expectations of people. She says. Uh, it might be right for some people, they may uh, be able to access additional hours, but of course, it is not going to work for people who are already in three jobs. So what they're really saying is, the expectation is, we should have a minimum of two jobs. Like, oh, if you've got three jobs, okay, this doesn't apply to you, but people shouldn't have two jobs. Like, people should have their job, be paid well enough, and work to be able to finance their life and the lives of their families it shouldn't, there just is an expectation here that, oh, we should already be having two jobs, but then the three jobs people. I mean, how out of touch is this human being with, with what's going on? I'm 100% with you on that. Um, and the fact that she's claiming and have expenses to actually feed a small village is just beggars believe. And that's just an expense, it's not, never mind getting extra jobs. And, you know, we as creators, like, we juggle a lot of things, I know, because you have got the Netflix thing. You are doing well. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, I am also well. yeah, you're doing well. My son's a fan. Uh, and, and, you know, we do juggle a lot of things. Uh, but how many more... It's like, how many more hours can you fit in the day, like, to get that levelling income so that you can live in yeah. a, you know... I think that point's really valid and it's less valid for us because we actually could work harder and do more. I mean, yeah. I, mean I became a comedian quite specifically to not work yeah. or to <laughs> work 20 minutes, minutes a day. <laughs> Oh, my God. It's not 20 minutes, though. It's like the four know, hours travelling, the, yeah, the yeah, four yeah. hours back. But, but we could add more into our days if we really had to, whereas someone who's working all of the awake hours in a factory, what else are you going to do? Yeah, Just invent time travel. I don't yeah. see how else you could fold it in. Of course, what you do then is you buy things that aren't as expensive. That's the other piece of advice that we had previously. Jim. Yeah, but, but I mean, I, I guess what she was trying to say, and she said very badly, is that, yes, that, that overall there's probably a long-term strategy to make jobs uh, better jobs, that jobs that pay better, more. But the word that she didn't use is opportunity. And that's the thing, is, is like you say, the person, someone working in a factory, working 12-hour shifts, there isn't necessarily that opportunity there. Mm -hmm. Maybe long-term education can be improved, not that I'm seeing any of this stuff actually happening, but the, the idea is to create this opportunity, but that isn't the word that she used, and that was unfortunate. Mm -hmm. But she dismissed all of it, like, but I've given, like, 500... Uh, you know, million to the hardship fund, which local councils can use as and where, you know, it's needed. Like, that's enough. We've done our bit now. You know, it's just like throwing, like, money at a, a, a beggar, really. I listened to Radio 4, as I do sometimes on the school run. Sorry. Uh, and <laughs> the person, what the person was saying is, and this is what something that ties into uh, the Queen's speech last week that Boris Johnson gave, is that there wasn't anything targeted, specifically targeted from central government to help the people most in need. And I'm not talking about getting Monster Munch and whatever. I am talking about heating, about the very basic essentials for families. And they haven't put that in. And this kind of thing is an insult to say it to those families who are genuinely struggling.